Here is a every mechanic should own tool. Snap on. Let's get in on this part number here. Here's a picture of the updated plier set, which I have too. This thing's fantastic with this wider grip on it. See how aggressive these teeth are? Mm -hmm. Yep. Here, and do you, here's what, why the tool is so successful. Do you see how tight of an arch there is right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not real square like a big pair of pliers. If I take a pair of pliers, I want to try and get this screw out. Do you see how the edge of the pliers, I run out of room, I'm bottomed out? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I just don't have any room. These are all snap-on tools here, so if I go to needle nose, do you see how I just don't have a very aggressive tooth on there? Yep. It's more like a file. Check this guy out. Now watch what I'm going to do. i got to make sure that the teeth are not on, grabbing onto the, the bowl too closely. I want to try and be up on the screw, and then also, I know I'm going this direction, so shouldn't I preload this as far away as I can? Yep. yep. Look at the death grip that I can get on this. And then I can go ahead and break it free. As soon as it's broke free, I'm going to go back to here, use a traditional tool, take it apart, and then move on. Way cool tool. Absolutely saved the day. Just wanted to show you another example of this uh, live and in action with a student actually attempting these techniques. Here's uh, Anthony just being successful at getting out one of these fasteners using these methods. What we're trying to avoid is getting a drill out. That's what I don't want to do. Make sense? Yep. Yeah.